So let's talk about endurance exercise and your heart. Okay, there's a really good book. If you do endurance exercise, you need to get this book. It's called The Haywire Heart, How Too Much Exercise Can Kill You and What You Can Do to Protect Your Heart by Chris Case and John Mandrola. One third of marathoners experience dilated ventricles. Okay, so you have the heart is four chambers. There's two primer pumps. They're called atriums. Then you have two major pumps, which are ventricles. So what happens with athletes is they start to develop dilated ventricles or enlarged ventricles on one side. So it starts getting bigger. There are indications of heart muscle damage and cardiac fibrosis, that scar tissue within the heart. And that can develop in all sorts of problems with the heart. One would be ventricular tachycardia, which is one type of arrhythmia. It's kind of a short circuiting. What the authors talk about in this book is mainly doing exercise for over one hour every day, sustained endurance exercise, five days a week, week after week after week. What happens is it creates structural and functional changes within the heart. Now, because the heart is becoming stronger and more efficient, and it pumps out more work and oxygen, uh, the heart rate comes down. And that heart rate can come down from a normal heart rate, which is like 72 to 60 to 50 to 40 to sometimes even 30. Because the heart doesn't have to work that hard, everything is very, very slow. Okay, And that's healthy, right? Well, what happens is you also get cardiomegaly. So the actual size of the heart can get bigger. One side of the heart can become bigger than the other side, depending on certain uh, variables. And the name for something getting bigger is called hypertrophy. So the problem is having an imbalance from the left side and the right side. Because the heart has various things in it that create rhythm, they're called pacemakers. You have two primary pacemakers, but you also have a backup system and even another backup system. I don't want to get into the details of that, but you just need to know that there are certain pacemakers of the body that are all supposed to be coordinated. The problem is when the heart beats start going down too low, that can trigger or alter certain secondary pacemakers in the heart. And that can create extra beats. Okay, you have premature atrial contractions or premature ventricular contractions. So we have this situation, we have this real strong, healthy heart, which is not pathogenic, that's giving these arrhythmia problems. So in the book, there's some great case histories of um, many people that have gone through this. Actually, it's very, very common. And what they did to handle these extra beats. Um, the biggest thing is to cut back on the exercise. The problem with sustained endurance exercise is you're working against the body's natural rhythms. Because anything sustained is very, very stressful on the body. If you're an athlete, and you're noticing some of these extra beats, what's recommended is you start to cut back on your exercise. Um, you may even want to do interval training uh, because that's erratic and it works with the body. It's less stressful than sustained exercise. And um, get the book, read it. There's a lot more details to um, talk about. In this video, I mainly wanted to communicate to the endurance athletes to bring up some awareness on the fact that even though they can have a very healthy heart, uh, you could have a problem with their arrhythmias, and there is something you can do to reverse this if you have the knowledge. I'll put a link down below of this book. Check it out, and thanks for watching.